Coach Curl proudly supports Carter's cause, raising funds for Heart Kids Australia. Honouring the brave legacy of Heart Angel Carter, who passed in 2013, just 30 days old. All funds raised by Carter's cause go to aid the families of kids born with congenital heart disease. Learn more by visiting www.carterscause.org.au. Hey there, it's Tony here and welcome to the Coach Call Podcast. Today's show is a shout out for everyone that's going through tough times right now. Hey there, it's Tony here and welcome to the Coach Call Podcast and thanks for listening in. Hey, today's show goes out to everyone going through tough times, struggling to get ahead, battling to be the best you. You may feel like you're banging your head against the proverbial door, wall or block of concrete. You're in that state where shit happens and we ask ourselves continually, when do we stop wading through it? We may be knee deep, we may be waist deep, it may be head high. And I'm hearing you. At one time or another, everyone who has ever walked on the face of this earth has had to wade through crap. But it's only when we're going through it do we, do we really acknowledge it. And it's only when we've come through it can we appreciate it? And it's so hard to appreciate it when we're going through it. So for all you brave souls out there, I want you to stay strong. What you're going through will make you stronger. It'll make you braver. And it will certainly make you wiser. When you finally get that head up, when you finally smell that fresh air, once you stop reeking the crap once you bend the line of that wall that you've been hang banging your head against do we ever start to relieve ourselves of the pain that we're facing you are still standing you have withstood everything that life has thrown at you everything up until this point you've been resilient you've been persistent you've been consistent Persistence builds resilience. And in today's world, resilience is critical for success. Keep moving forward. Stay focused on where you need to be. Sometimes it will feel like our progress is slow, but it's progress nonetheless. Sometimes it feels that that dream is far away. But you're closer than where you were yesterday. It's about looking forward. It's about moving forward. It's about progress. Know what it is that you want and take daily steps, daily actions. Life's going to throw crap at you. Life's going to make it hard. But remember, nothing worthwhile comes easy. You know this. You've been through this. You've done it before. And I can hear what you're saying. I know this is true, Tony, but can't I just get one break? And you will. And when it comes, you need to be ready. Preparing, becoming resilient, Persistence helps you prepare. So what you're going through right now, a shout out to all you brave souls that are battling ahead, that are progressing towards their dream. For what you're doing now is preparing you for what lies ahead. Stronger, braver, wiser. You are standing strong. You are progressing. 
you are preparing preparing for your greatest self join the group of people impacted by seriously simple stuff to get you unstuck the first book by tony coach curl available at amazon tony simple stuff provides the tool for people to master your life and aspirations 20% of every book sold supports Carter's cause. Back to Coach Curl. I want to share with you a concept called social resilience. And social resilience is where our true power in communities and countries really lie. I'm going to share some words from psychology today. Social resilience recognizes that as a social species, we work, think, and excel as groups or teams, as well as individuals. Wolves and lions hunt in teams, and by doing so, they're able to bring down prey that would be impossible to conquer alone. Human civilizations rest on the specialization, differentiation, and orchestration of human expertise so that we as a collective can achieve more than we could by our solitary efforts. Social resilience is an emergent, but it's not a magical property. People who have diverse interests, skills and resources and who can work together make it more likely the group as a whole can respond adaptively to unforeseen problems and challenges. The functions each person serves in such adverse circumstances may not be defined a priority by their knowledge or skills of the individuals per se. Instead, how these individuals are combined can fundamentally change the capacities the functions the group can achieve to address a novel challenge. When individuals feel rejected, isolated, distrusted, devalued or simply disliked, they cannot work effectively as part of the unit and they are less likely to adapt creatively as a unit as required by the challenges that we confront. We face many challenges today. We may face many challenges in the communities in which we live. We may face many challenges as individuals. And it's often when we feel rejected, isolated, distrusted, devalued that we battle our way through the struggles. And we battle our way potentially to an outcome that isn't the real outcome. And in many ways, we're becoming more fragile than ever before. And in many ways, when we become more fragile, we seek, there is that possibility of manipulation. You know, we feel safe in teams, we feel safe in communities. And as long as we're aligned, that's cool. As long as it's aligned to our very best, that's cool. But the key is, from psychology today, human civilizations rest on the specialization, differentiation and orchestration of human expertise so that we as a collective can achieve more than we could by our solitary efforts. Building resilience helps you ultimately determine social resilience. It ultimately helps you seek complementary skills, thoughts, Contra contrasting opinions and that's what's needed to ensure the greater good people that can bring different skills thoughts ideas together and create a cohesive unit but let me assure you the world is always going to be there in all its ugliness and whatever that ugly looks like for you you know, safe zones are beneficial for temporary relief and support. But dealing with the world requires resilience. And every time you push through, you come out more prepared. More prepared to take you to success and importantly, more prepared to be ready for the next round of ugliness. 
because we know it's out there. You're beautiful. You're courageous. And beauty and courage is what defeats ugly. We can do it. And you can do it. Ugliness and evil is beaten by beauty and love. And we've shown that time and time again. But also remember, ugliness is unfortunately is always going to be there. In our world, if we've got light, we've also got dark. It's the laws of the universe. So when we've got beauty and when we've got courage, it means that we will have ugly and we will have evil. And it's how we push through and it's how we persevere and it's how we stand courageous that's going to de- uh, de- beat that time and time again. Courage helps us understand. Understanding brings empathy and empathy breeds greater good. You know, your way, my way, must give out to our way. Individual courage, individual strength helps breed social resilience and social resilience breeds benefits for all the coach curl podcast is brought to you by think and grow business the home of the think and grow business mastermind if you're serious about growing your business get serious and join a mastermind group today find out more at thinkandgrowbusiness.com.au And now it's back to Coach Curl. Hey there, it's Coach Curl here and it's just a a quick show today. I just wanted to pass on my thoughts and best my condolences to everyone that's been affected in the Manhattan incident. I'm going to call it an incident even though it by all likelihood it would appear to be terrorist motivated. I, I just really am at a loss sometimes as to when all this crap will stop. But every time that an incident like this threatens to divide us, threatens to stop us enjoying the lives that we love, is the the more reason why we need to live the lives that we love. All my heart goes out to New York. I love New York. And for everyone that I know and that's listening from New York and all my friends and, and family that's in New York, my best wishes, my thoughts, my condolences, and we'll get through this. We'll get through this with courage. We'll get through this with bravery. We'll get through this with understanding. We'll get through this with beauty, and we'll get through it with love. Thanks for tuning in today. A big shout-out to everyone who makes this podcast possible. Until next time, just don't forget the golden rule. And it's even more relevant today than ever. Just don't be an arsehole. Until next week, I'll see you then.